hakuna mtu najua kwa sababu hakuna mtu naongea na Mungu. Mungu tu nakuja tu na jilali yake lakini hakuna mtu najua ni nini sasa kwa sababu mamoka yote na kuja hakuna mvua. Eh paka sasa mali inaribika kila paka watu napata njaa na kaa tu. Ni Mungu tu ndio nasaidia sisi yote. Yes. We're here in Old Masoni, which is still within the borders of Laikipia County. And what herders here are telling us is that they've had very little rain during this long rainy season. Livelihoods and livestock have been decimated in this region. And herders are really concerned about the possibility of another failed rainy season later this year. We've spoken to herders uh, in, in the market in El Moran who told us that they've lost up to half of their livestock in this prolonged drought and they were there to try to sell what was remaining just to buy food for their families. So even here in Laikipia which is known for its fertile land and its great savanna and it's popular for farming and for tourists alike, even here the drought has had a massive impact. Sikuja tu wakati jirani nakuja iko na ngombe 60. Ni ngombe nikupa na randa randa tuna hii jirani mpaka tuna baka na ngombe tisa za nje. Na watoto iko na nja. Ngombe sahi hata kuna nyasi. It has been affecting us because we are a people such who depend on livestock and when the drought gets in uh, we get uh, affected uh, because there is nothing can be sold out for us to maintain uh, our basic needs and defend for school fees for children. Iki angazi imetuadhiri sisi kama wa mama aswa wanawake ya kipokoti. Metuadhiri kwa sababu hii ukame ilipo anza hakuna venye tulisaidiwa na serikali ama nini. Tunakaa tuifo, tunangaika, wa mama wanakata maka ili wapate kulisha watoto. Sasa hakuna kitu yenye watu wanaweza kula ama watoto na wamama. Hai wakati hii ukame mtu akikuja na ngombe yake ama pesa yake tumbusi, ambie msasi mimi nataka kuwa msichana wako. Anapeana ili apate kitu ya kupea wao wengine. Kwa sababu watu wamelima, hatuna mahali ambapo watu wanaweza kuchunga mifugo. Ya tatu, ya pili, unaweza kuta katika semu hii. Kuna mali maji ambayo, sources za maji, kama dams, kama boreholes, ni kidogo. So, community na wale wanachunga ngombe na wale ambayo wanaenda kutaka maji pale, inakuwa ni kidogo, hawawesi kufanya nini, hawawesi kukonsumu wale wote kunini. Alafu, eh, pia, unaweza kuta hii mambo ya, ya illegal grazing. Pengine ngombe imeingia shamba, imekula shamba ya mkulima, inaongeseka. So, in Aguana, Yoshida. There's no simple explanation for the conflict we've seen in this, in this region of Kenya. We've seen cattle raiding, uh, what locals call illegal grazing, and we've seen clashes between uh, armed herders and the security forces who've been sent here to try to calm the situation. We've heard from some residents who've told us that there are local politicians who are inciting the violence, using the vulnerability of the pastoralists and even arming them in some cases and, and giving them ammunition. But of course we can't overlook the impact of the climate stresses that we've seen. The impact is that pastoralists searching for water and pasture will be going longer distances. That will bring them into more risk of potential conflict either with 
ranches or with other herders or with the farming community. When droughts can get in, it reaches a point whereby the only place to get pastures and good waters it is maybe the ranches for white people or for the white settlers. And uh, because there is no other place to graze uh, livestock, it causes uh, conflicts, it causes a fight, and it is really uh, costing even lives of the, of the people. We have lost so many friends, we have lost so many relatives. There are some glimmers of hope even here and we have seen that uh, the local community as well as even the local authorities have been organising peace conferences, round tables, uh, inter-community peace mediation which has led to some calming of the tensions. Yeah, tunaongea kuhusu mambo ya wakati tunapoongea kuhusu mambo ya amani tunaongea mambo ya overstocking watu asio mzuri kuchukulisha eh, mashamba ya watu ya pili tunasema hakuna haja kuweka ngombe mingi inafaa watu waweke ngombe kidogo alafu ndio upate ku, kuchunga na pia tunajaribu kuelezea wale communities ambayo wako na mifugo mjaribu kutafuta mahali ambapo pana nafasi watu waende wachonge kule mahali kuna watu waache ile mali iko karibu na watu so hiyo tunajaribu kuwaelezea na pia tunajaribu kuwaelezea kwamba waweke amani eh? waweke amani mali ambapo wako kwa sababu hii amani itafanya wale communities ambayo wako majirani wenu mtakaa nao vizuri lakini mkikosa kuweka amani itakuwa ni kitu ambayo sio mzuri but Everyone we speak to here says that a lot more needs to be done. There needs to be more investment here in infrastructure, in climate adaptation and resilience. Uh, things like dams need to be built to ensure there's enough water for the livestock so they don't have to travel so far, walking days to f find water and pasture elsewhere. Government should intervene and the people should be educated on the dangers of uh, fight. Uh, government should also help the herders because uh, if there is no pastures, people suffer a lot and that is what causes the conflict. There has to be more investment in resilience and in education. More schools, more teachers are coming to this region. I think that's the overwhelming message that we've heard from herders here and from communities here. <laughs> Yaani mapendekezo yangu watoto wa kike wote wapelekwe shule kwa sababu hao ndio wanapitia wanadhulumiwa hawa ndio wanapitia hizi challenges hizi changamoto ya ku ya kuolewa mapema yani kutumiwa kama ile kitu haina maana ndio mimi naisema kama mimi ningesoma hata mimi labda singekuwa hivi venye niko Sasa watoto tagula nini mimi hakuna kazi nafanya Watoto nakula hii ngombe yangu. O hiyo ngombe tisa, hata hiyo ngombe tisa imeleta ngombe mbili. Na baki sasa kidogo huko tena. Kwa sababu ni hii chakula mimi tu mimi natumia. Hakuna reche. Hakuna kasi na panya. Ni mtu kasi yangu. Eh. Na mimi bado soma. Naenda kutafuta kasi kwa Nairobi. Hii ndio kasi yangu mimi napanyanga.